Hello Sagittarius. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start it from today, the 11th until the 18th. So let's see. So, universe, what's the current energy between Sagittarius and the person that's Sagittarius mind? So, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like someone is trying to prove to you that they deserve you, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles being here. Universe, the person that's on Sagittarius mind, what would we like to say to Sagittarius? Two of Cups, Eight of Wands, ooh, Nine of Cups, on. Oh, so, this person is going to express their feelings for you. They will be doing that because what they would like to say is that Either they love you um, or they really like you with the Nine of Cups being here, Eight of Wands. Okay, this is someone who's very affectionate. Universal person that's on Sagittarius Mind Wire to keep in hidden from Sagittarius for October the 11th to the 18th, 2021. The Tower. Okay, the Tower can be a good card. So I will clarify that. So what they keep in hidden is like a surprise. I'm going to clarify that. Universal person that's on Sagittarius Mind, how do they feel about Sagittarius? Knight of Swords in reverse. So, okay, this is probably someone who was not being emotionally expressive before or emotionally available. Um, out of nowhere, they're being more emotionally available, okay? Universal person, that's on Sagittarius mind. What is their true feelings for Sagittarius? Four, three of swords and the four of cups. Oh, I see what's going on. I feel like this is someone who pushed your limit, <laughs> okay? Um... They want to prove to you that they deserve you, um, that they, you know, they should be with you, right? And I see they're going to be more emotionally expressive because they know they done effed up, okay? Um, now, what's going to catch you off surprise, I feel like it's them, you know, doing what they say they're going to do, um, being more emotionally available, okay? Universe, the person that's on Capricorn, my, I mean Capricorn, universe, the person that's on Sagittarius, mind, what intentions do they have with Sagittarius? Knight of Pentacles, okay? So their intentions is the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's to slowly rebuild this connection. Universe, the person that's on such as mind, what actions will they take? Yep, three of cups, who wants? Yeah. General energy, nine of wands, okay? So they know that they don't have to up. I feel like their their strategy is to be emotionally present, be attentive, um and to rebuild this again okay that's what i'm getting now the sign of this person there's virgo here and it's um scorpio there is um yeah it's strong virgo energy here could be a pisces as well so let's look at the other deck Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for? Okay, so there is artist. Then there is Midas. Then there is Shapeshifter and Child Eternal. Okay. Jenna energy is okay. Let me pull Jenna energy. Universe, give me one card for Jenna energy. Give me two. <laughs> Rebel and Gambler. So I feel like the gamble energy is more of them thinking that they could treat you a certain type of way, thinking that, you know, you will let it slide, okay? And I feel like that's why they're acting completely like 180, okay, with the shapeshifter, because it's like they see that you're not interested in them no more, um, that you don't want them anymore. So it's like they still want you, but they know that they have to change and they're going to be more real. Because I feel like this is someone who have um inflated ego and i feel like they're trying to remove their ego and be more with their authentic self okay so let's look at the other dog okay universe give me a four card spread what's going to happen 
and Sagittarius Love Life. So it is safe for you to love. The universe can meet you in your cards. Attraction. The universe can meet you in your cards. Let your friends help you. And so many general energy, past life relationship. Okay. So if you guys have mutual friends, I feel like your mutual friends are trying to encourage you to still um still be with with this person, okay? To stick beside this person, okay. Um but I feel like a lot of you guys are just creating distance. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen as such as the life for October the eleventh? Great fortune. Good. Distant horizon. High honor. Privileged lady. And thoughts. So yeah, I feel like they're going to try to figure out something of where they're showing you that they care about you. Um, so being more attentive, being more affectionate, whining and dining you. Okay, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Let's see. Okay, so universe, we have four cards spread. What messages do you have? Okay, so there is high priestess of air. I mean, earth. Queen of pentacles, okay. Then there's warrior. They're fighting for you. Then there's fulfillment. Universe, give me one more card. There's oath. And listening. And vision. Okay, so probably a lot of you guys have been having a lot of dreams about this person. Um, but I'm seeing here is like, they don't want you to go anywhere at the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles for me is the queen that's the most grounded. Um, you know, she's like considered like the wife. Um, so they're all wives because they're like the queen and the king, but she's like the one that they will say the domesticated one. So they want you to be like still with them and not like not be interested in them more. They want you to still be interested in them, still be besides them basically. Okay, it just I feel like with them, they was really had a big ego. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a three card spread. So there's clock, need time, take time, cycles, time to heal, and progress. Healthy choices. This is them too. It's like they're putting their ego away. I might name it that. So unconditional loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. Okay. Yeah. So it's like they're showing more their authentic self um, while you create a distance. So making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Um, clock. Yep. They know that. They done effed up, okay? Need time, takes time and time. Cycles, time to help progress. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. So let's see here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Sagittarius Love Life? So there is sacrifice. Then there's wisdom, that's the Hierophant and base chakra. Universe, give me one more card. Okay. Destiny, harmony, um, movement, choice, and decision, obstacle and challenges, and general energy, rest, and rejuvenate. So, yeah, I feel like they're moving different in a positive way. Like, they want to rebuild things with you, okay? And with the sacrifice, I feel like this is them sacrificing their ego, Okay. Hierophant is related to spirituality. I feel like this is more just them, you know, being more tapped into their femininity as well. Balancing that out. So let's see. Universe, give me a five card spread. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? So there is, don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. So this person could be a Leo. But this is someone, again, who have a lot of ego. A huge one. Universe, give me four more cards. Universe, give me four more cards. So there is Journey by the Moonlight, Believe in Magic. So again, this is going to catch you off guard because 
how this person is going to be 180. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showing in your life. Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. Okay. So, staying focused, hold the course, and believe in the impossible blooming. Yeah. So, it's going to catch you off guard. It's like how they're acting different, but in a positive way. Cleaning waters. Purification activates a vibrant life force. So, let's look at the angel answers. Universe, give me a four card spread. So there is no trust. <laughs> you guys don't trust this person. Even when they're going to act like this, you probably say like, okay, this is probably fake. Remain positive. You're ready and helpful people. Gen energy, gen energy is not the right time. Universe, clarify night, not the right time. So there is yes in reverse. And if it's up to you in reverse. Wow. So a lot of you guys are not going to trust this act okay you may feel like they're acting um just so you don't leave okay let's see okay, let's look at the oracles okay universe give me a four card spread how much does you have four Sagittarius. So there is the sun. Universe, give me three more cards. So probably your relationship start getting start start getting shaky towards Leo season. So I've got a lot of Leo reference. Universe, give me three more cards. Then there is stay stay focused. Remember where you started. So you may feel like this person caused a lot of like issues for you, and probably kind of make you feel blocked. So I feel like you guys are really focused at work. Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Stay alone for now and developing your craft. Yeah, so you see this as a distraction. Universe, give me one more card. Okay. Then there is Gemini in reverse. And there is Tower again. Gen Energy, Cancer. Could be Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo here. Um... But I feel like you guys are just wanting to stay in your own energy. You may feel like this person throw you off. Okay. Some of you guys are probably not going to communicate because I do got the Gemini in reverse. Gemini rule communication. Okay. Um, there probably was miscommunication as well. Especially now because it's Mercury retrograde. Okay. But I feel like this is them with the Cancer. They're being very emotional. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. And trying to be more authentic with the sun. Okay. So what you can expect this week is that it's like a huge turnaround, but you guys don't trust it. <laughs> okay. So thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfortarot at gmail.com.